Hey guys, I just want to encourage you and share with you something the Lord has placed in my heart to share with you this week. Uh, we'll call this message, I'll Remember No More. Um, so I, I brought something today and I want to show you something. This is, this is a cookie jar. It's over 20 years old. And as a child, um, many times my parents told me, you know, you couldn't have cookie or dessert before dinner. And many times what I would do is I would sneak into the kitchen, climb up onto, onto the counter, and go into this cookie jar to get a cookie. Now as a child, it, being sneaky and doing all this SS stuff, thinking that I wasn't gonna get caught doing it, I did it anyway. Um, because as a child, it was just a thrill because I, I, I wanted this cookie. And what's amazing is that each time I, I, I did this, my parents saw it, my father saw it. Um, but yet, every single time I did it, although I may have gotten in trouble, my father still loved me. Uh, in Hebrews 8 and 12, it says, I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and lawless deeds, and their sins I will remember no more. God wants us to walk around with the knowledge of his forgiveness over our lives, over our sins, over our mistakes. Can you imagine if all of the world walked around knowing that their Father in heaven, their heavenly Father has already forgiven them. There would be no shame, there would be no disappointment, there would be no, no condemnation even against ourselves. But yet so many people walk around con condemned thinking that their Father in heaven is holding something against them, that He's coming against them. But the scripture says that God is for us and not against us. The sins that you have committed in your past and that you're gonna commit in your future, I have already forgiven you. I have already, I'm already saying that I will not remember your sin. I will not hold it against you. He will remember it no more. And when we think about the woman at the well and how when she was walking to the well, she was feeling ashamed, condemned, disappointed at her mistakes and, and all her past uh, failures that she's made but yet when she gets to the well she meets a man that tells everything she's ever done but yet he doesn't condemn her yet actually he begins to tell her who she is in Christ not who she was by the mistake she made he see God is looking at us not by the mistake we made but he's looking at us through the lenses of his son Jesus See, God is not trying to convict us of our mistakes, but yet he's trying to convict us of our position in Christ. He's trying to show us that we are the righteousness of God, which means that we are in complete right standing with God no matter what we do. He is trying to show us, he's trying to convict us of that position in Christ, not of the mistakes that we've made. So my parents didn't want me to think about the mistake I made as a child. My parents wanted me to know that I was already forgiven, but they also didn't want me to do go into the cookie jar again. And so many people think with this knowledge, knowing that we're already forgiven, that we'll continue to sin, that we'll continue to do all these things. I'll continue to, as, as a child to go into the cookie jar knowing that I'm already forgiven. So when we go back to the woman at the well, she went to the well feeling ashamed, disappointed, broken, and mad at herself. But yet, when she intersected and met Jesus, something happened, a miracle happened, and she left uplifted, understanding her position in Christ, knowing that she's chosen, that she's redeemed, that nothing in her past can hold her from her future, she left so excited, was filled with so much joy, so much peace, knowing that she is in Christ Jesus. And guess what she did? She told everyone, she wanted everyone to know of a man that told everything about her past, but yet didn't condemn her and loved her. So God is saying to us, I don't love you just because you preach my message or you back my message financially or you buy a car for someone or you buy a meal for someone. No, God is saying to us, I love you because that's who I am. I am love. I'm the meaning of love. I'm the definition of love. I'm the reason love even exists. He said, I love the world so much that I gave my only begotten son, that whosoever believe on him shall not perish, but shall have everlasting life. 
See, God wants us to know that us doing right does not produce a position of righteousness. He's saying to us, no, I've already placed you in a position of righteousness. We've all made a lot of mistakes. We've all made a, committed a lot of sins. But yet, God is saying to us, I will remember no more. I love you. I have a plan for you. You are chosen. You are righteous. You are redeemed. Your past will not hold you from your future. And the people that know their God will do great exploits.